What's going on guys, my name is Rob, also known as Checked Out, and today we're going to be talking about whether you should cop or drop the upcoming Jordan 5 Racer Blue. These are scheduled to drop on February 12th, which is a Saturday, and a lot of you are probably wondering if you should cop these for resale and whatnot, so I'm going to be going over that and what the benefits of doing so will be, because these will not be as profitable as other shoes that we have coming up, but there's definitely still some value in purchasing this pair if you buy it from the right websites and stores. So let's get into it. All right guys, here we go, this is the shoe that I'm talking about, the Jordan 5 Racer Blue, which I personally think shouldn't be the name because the Jordan 3 Racer Blues were white, but whatever. And this shoe for men's will be retailing for $200. So it did see an increase in price and we can assume that most Jordans did get increased in price as well and expect this retail of 220 to be the next normal. And so again, like I said, these will be dropping in the US February 12th, which is a Saturday. So a pretty big general release. Uh, we're going to see a lot of people cop these. There's going to be a lot of stock, which of course is definitely going to impact the resale value of this shoe. It's definitely a nice looking shoe, but you know, it's just not going to have the demand that to where it's going to be the most profitable you know and the only reason why i would say cop this is one a if you're a pretty advanced reseller and you have local buyers then definitely cop these because you guys know how to work with shoes like this and two hopefully this should be pretty good or this should be pretty easy to hit on flx raffles and finish line raffles or i should say exclusive access and you could farm your accounts pretty high with this because the retail is 200 and hopefully you can move it and sell on apps to hopefully break even and make a few bucks on release day and that's really the whole point of why you would buy this shoe if you're just an everyday reseller because as you know guys you got to give some to get some so current resale value on a size 12 is looking extremely high and it's looking very high across all sizes but do not be deceived guys there have only been 10 sales on stock x so that is a very good indication that not many people really want this shoe as there would be way more sales from the app like what we saw with like Pat and Brad's or Thunder Force. So again, we can't really say anything about how market is right now. It's definitely inflated and only the people who have early pairs are really controlling the market. As we get closer and closer to the release expect, I would say market will probably be around 260 to 270 around release day that's my guess and so let's say market so let's say it's release day right you get a pair in store and market is 276 for whatever size you get and if you were to sell at that market price you can see they're going to take some pretty good fees out but you're going to be left with 242 payout and assuming that you live in a tax state that will be charging roughly 9% tax, if you add 9% to 200, you're going to be adding an extra $18 to your retail. So again, if you're to buy in store, the total cost would be 218 roughly. And after all the fees, you'd be left with around $25 per pair if you were to sell at that 276 market price, which honestly is that's pretty good, you know, because you're getting a lot of points. This is going to be $200 worth of points. That's 20,000 FLX points. And I believe, I don't know what the exact conversion is for Finish Line and JD, but it is a lot of points. If you guys are kind of confused as to what I'm talking about is like, why would I buy shoes to only make like a very little profit? And what do you mean by this point? So basically... You guys should know what FLX is. That's Foot Locker, Champs, Kids Foot Locker, Foot Action, and East Bay. And we know that they always do raffles on their site. And there's a few things that you need to raffle. It is definitely not based on luck at the end of the day. You need to have high lifetime points and you need to have purchase history. So buying shoes such as this upcoming Jordan 5 that's going to give you a lot of points is very beneficial and you're profiting a little bit on the side. So kind of think of this release as not really an investment in money as in like profit wise, but think of it as an investment in points to later on profit from those points because you'll end up winning more profitable reservations i know it's kind of hard to explain but basically like if you buy a brick for example the jordan 13 core purple would have gave you 19,000 points for flx that means that next time a hype shoe comes around like the jordan 4 thunder red since you bought that shoe for the points you'll now have a higher chance of winning the raffle since your account is now in this more competitive range because it has order history and it has a decent amount of points so i know that was kind of a lot but hopefully you guys are kind of picking up what i'm putting down but basically these are going to be bricks and they they are definitely a nice shoe you know they're definitely not ugly so they will have profit elsewhere such as like selling locally offer up facebook marketplace and whatnot and i'm sure you'll be able to find a buyer but just don't expect to be making as much money as normal shoes give you but these are 100 a cop to build your accounts and now typically you want to stick with sizes around like 10 and a half to 13 as those are going to give you more profit than the common sizes like 8 through 10 
again. But I mean, get what you can get. If you can only get smaller sizes and sell them on apps just to break even, then you know it is what it is. But the real goal here is to just build those accounts. And the same would apply to grade school, except I think grade school is going to be a little bit more riskier unless you're copying like size six, six and a half and seven. The retail for the grade school is $150. So add tax to that. So profit margins are going to be a lot slimmer and again mostly used for only points and account building but yeah guys it's basically the same thing just cop for the points but anyways guys i hope that did make sense i may have lost a few of you there but I'll, i will try my best because like to me it's very obvious so when i explain it you know i kind of like forget that some of you are beginners but i will be trying my best to explain it a different time but yeah guys and a quick little plug-in if you guys are looking to join a discord group head over to the description below and make sure to check out what we have to offer we offer release guides for sneakers add to cart tools fast monitors early release info and tons more so if you definitely are looking for a cook group to join or you're a beginner who needs guidance definitely come check us out in the description below and also look at the other stuff that we offer they've all seen tremendous success and have great feedback and on a side note guys if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and, and subscribe to see more i'm really going to start focusing on video quality rather than video quantity i'm very used to tiktok which is just post as many times as you can and hope the algorithm blesses you but i can tell YouTube really pays me well when I focus more on giving more in-depth guides and just focus more on helping out you guys. So I'm going to be spending more time video editing and whatnot and giving good quality content rather than just fast content. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to appreciate that. But with that being said, guys, thanks for listening and have a good night.